Someone gave me some advice many years ago, and I've never forgotten it. The advice was very simple, and it went like this. Great businesses run on meetings and reports. They run on meetings and reports. And that's not to say that these are a measure of success. You can nail your meetings and reporting without ever having a successful business. But you are unlikely to have a great business unless you get these two elements right. And so today I want to focus just on the reporting aspect. So quality consistent reporting is an absolute necessity to effectively manage a business. Not only does it allow you to measure progress against goals and targets, but it also gives management insight. It provides transparency. Uh, it identifies problems and, and highlights opportunities within your business. And so a great reporting structure doesn't have to be complex. In fact, simple is typically better. But there are three elements that are crucial to great reporting, and that's relevance, accuracy, and timeliness. So relevance first. Make sure you're reporting on the things that actually matter, the important stuff. So paralysis by analysis is a common problem. Reporting on all the things that you think would be nice to know, instead of focusing just on what is strictly relevant. And too often I see reporting resources being wasted on things that are never going to influence a management decision. So use that as your litmus test. Are you going to use this report to make a management decision? If not, don't waste your time. And the second point uh, is accuracy. The reason it is second is because it comes after relevance. So there's no point in having an accurate report that you don't need. But if you're going to have confidence in your reporting, if you're going to make key strategic decisions as a result of your reporting, it must be accurate. So you're after quality, not quantity. And then finally, we have timeliness. And the more stale a report is, the more out of date, the less useful it becomes. So you want some strict guidelines in place for internal reporting. They must be accurate, but they must also be fast. So if your reporting is going to fly by these guidelines, what is the best structure for reporting in your business? And I'd like to share with you a simple structure that I believe works well for SMEs, small, medium enterprises. It follows a simple reporting rhythm, daily, weekly, and monthly. And the longer the time frame or frequency, the more detail is required. To be absolutely clear, we're talking here about business-wide reporting, not individual KPIs. So first up, you must have some form of live report or scorecard. A live dashboard is ideal, but if you can't manage that, a simple daily report uh, is good enough. And this is very simple. If it's not live data, it should take someone no more than five minutes to prepare each day. Just a simple scorecard, performance against targets, daily and month to date. Normally speaking, this will be a combination of activities and results, uh, and mostly sales focused. And next up, we have uh, the weekly report. And in my view, this is one of the most underutilized and powerful reports in business. A simple weekly summary report. Normally this will cover sales and marketing, finance and perhaps operations. And so you've got the obvious metrics, sales in, sales out, quote number and value, uh, the critical sales numbers of course, and the number one marketing or lead generation activity, and perhaps a measure on operations. And the critical working capital numbers to keep an eye on liquidity and cash flow, so debtors, creditors, stock, a cash at bank. And all this information should be at your fingertips, so it shouldn't take more than 10 or 15 minutes each week to prepare this report, perhaps on a Friday afternoon or, or a Monday morning. And the real power in this report is watching the trends over the month and over the year. And then your monthly uh, management report pack is the third part of the cycle. So this is your monthly financial reporting, P&L, balance sheet, cash flow, but also other critical reporting. For instance, you may have a one-page HR report uh, or a marketing update, your key operations numbers, your, your finance KPIs. And this is where discipline around relevance is absolutely required. So you want enough information to make decisions, but not information overload. So a monthly report pack gives you a snapshot of exactly what happened in your business over the past month, and it gives the management team the confidence to make those critical business decisions. So that's my idea of a simple but effective reporting rhythm, daily, weekly and monthly reports giving you relevant, accurate, timely information. It's not rocket science, but it could just be the rocket fuel that your business needs to get to the next level. So once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week.